It feels great to be back. Uh, I'm really happy to be back at Berent. Uh, a year back in Scotland, which was good, and uh, we just started pre-season and excited to be working with the team. Well, with pre-season, uh, the whole season is a process, and uh, in terms of where we're at right now, I'm really happy. Um, I have an idea in my mind on where I want the team to be at the end of the season, and we've had some freshmen come in and, and do really well right off the bat, and I'm really happy about that. But the thing about pre-season, we're just uh, we're trying to find our identity. We're trying to get right people in the right spot. We're trying to define our formation. We're trying to improve our fitness. We're trying to develop team chemistry. So a lot of stuff to be done. Um, in pre-season but also it carries out through the course of the season um, we just want to be playing really really well at the end uh, but at the same time we want to be winning games on a, on a game by game basis uh, that's, that's important A couple of names that come to mind. Uh, Lindsay Steinsdorfer has been a great player for us in the past and she seems really reinvigorated this season uh, can really dominate a game in the middle of the park and has a lot of energy, highly skilled technically uh, and just can really drive our team forward. Uh, we have some other major players, um, Valor Wagner is just quality all around, very skilled in terms of her individual technique, good decision making, can break teams down with good vision uh, and we need her to have a good season. Uh, Sam Vassy was a newcomer of the year in the conference last season and uh, again just a physically dominant player uh, who, who has, is already good but has just tons of potential. Uh, she is really, really skilled on the ball and I'm just trying to work with her to, to uh, get her off the ball movement to be just a little bit better but she's already good so she can just move on to, be, to become great in my opinion. Uh, and we have some younger players as well, a couple of freshmen. Uh, Maddie Monty and Shelby Lloyd have immediately made an impact on our team. Superb athletes uh, and aggressive, uh, like to play type of players. Uh, and, and I'm really happy with them. I mean, it's, I could just go on and on. The thing I was trying to impress upon the team, and it's really important to me, is um, you know, you can't do it by yourself. So you can have one player playing against 11 and they always lose, but the thing that's really crucial for us and we try and talk about it as part of our program is that the team is, is really important so sometimes you have to do things you don't really like to do for the sake of the team improving you might be in the team, you might be out of the team, if you're out of the team how can you help the team win, uh, what can you do outside the, the white lines to help your team succeed uh, so these are things that we talk about on a regular basis with our players uh, and we feel if we, if we talk about it and, and, we, and we mention it on a regular basis it gets in their mind and it, it just gives us more chances to succeed. Uh, we're just trying to give ourselves the best possible chance to succeed on a regular basis by, by training hard, having good, having expectations really clearly outlined to the players so when they step on the field they know exactly what's expected of a back four, a midfield, a, attacking. They know exactly what's expected of them in their specific position. Uh, so there's no ambiguity uh, and I think if, if the high school players, the players we bring in, come from a good high school program or a good club program, it's kind of seamless for them because they've been getting this information a lot. But the thing I talk to them about here at the college level is I want them to think a little more. So sometimes when you're playing high school, you can just kind of play and it's, it's all out there. Uh, but when they come here, I want them to think. Uh, and I make them think regularly enough in practice the same things and it becomes automatic in their minds. So when the game starts, they know exactly what to do. I just sit there, watch them, give them a few pointers, and and, and they take over. Uh, they take over from there. The other thing that's important to me uh, is I want the players to see soccer as being a whole experience. So I want to win. I want to win every game. But preparing to win is enough. So we prepare to win, and then we. If we do our preparation, hopefully we win. But we can't control the outcome in all, in all aspects. So we do everything we can to prepare our teams to succeed. We're not going to go 18-0. and 0. I know that. The players probably know that. But we want to do everything we can to prepare to win, to give ourselves chances to succeed. But, you know, there's more things. It, we're, we're a Division three program, so 
our philosophy is, I, I try and make the players understand that soccer is important and you can have a really good soccer experience here, but I want you to kind of be fairly well rounded and you know in the spring season you know we do some we do off season stuff and but you know I want them to take road trips I want them to uh, maybe join some clubs if they if they want to play another sport so I, it's really important to me that's a well rounded experience and that with the other things we do with traveling internationally and community service is a huge thing with our, with our top soccer program so so the players get that soccer is important but. Uh, it's part of the whole college experience, so that, that's something I really try and press when in, when in recruiting them the, and, when, and when the players come in and you know, we talk about it on a regular basis uh, throughout the season. And I think they know, or I hope they know, that uh, I want to help them and I want them to succeed and I'll, I'll give them tools to succeed, but they've got to want it for themselves. So I'll aid them, I'll do anything I can to help them to improve their game, to help them with their grades, to help them with the internships connections, any of that sort of stuff, but uh, they've got to take that and then run with it. And we're fortunate, we have motivated individuals, and those are the pe type of people that I try and attract to the program, hungry people, people that are competitive, they want to win, but they want to do well in all aspects of their life. So those are the type of people I'm trying to get here to help us, uh, help us move forward. So, uh, one of the really nice things I think we've got happening with our team right now is we've a lot of universities, uh, with budgets and, and the things that are happening in the economy, a lot of things are contracting in higher education and athletics. And I feel really fortunate here at Berend. We've just added a graduate assistant. So we have uh, a, a graduate assistant who works with both the men and the women. So now we have extra help. I'm full time, and, and Casey, Casey Dercas is our assistant. He's here full time. And the huge thing I've got, think we've got going on with our team is we're about to uh, build a soccer specific stadium on campus. It's not going to be just for the football team. Uh, it's going to massively enhance our training environment. It's going to let players know that soccer is important here at Bern. They'll drive in on campus. One of the first things you'll see is the soccer field, which I think, uh, as a potential student athlete or a player that's here, uh, it just lets you know that the, the university is behind you. And they don't just say they're behind you. They've actually actively done something and put some dollars behind it to show that, hey, soccer is a pretty important thing uh, at the college.